welcome to the 44th anniversary tribute to retiring staff and curators. Uh, ito po ang schedule natin, supposed to be 10 o'clock. Uh, but anyway, I have short uh, remarks on naman. I would like to acknowledge the help of everybody, especially Cam and the uh, technical staff ng MNH who helped me get this together kasi talagang nalakout ako kanina. Also, thank you for Orly for all the legwork of uh, getting the uh, uh, plaques uh, produced. Uh, and also, uh, si Ariel, I think tumulong din. So maraming din salamat sa lahat ng nag-submit ng mga testimonials niya, nila uh, for your co uh, cooperation. And of course, the awardee, salamat din po. So let's start with the testimonials. Uh, the first one will be for uh, Atilita Borromeo, Administrative Assistant Secretary. Special Collections Officer and Property Custodian. Oh, magandang araw sa lahat ng mga makakapanood nito. Ako si Rafael Tandang, retired na. Ito ang aking salaysay. Uh, hindi ko alam kung saan ako magsisimula sa dami at tagal ng pagsasama namin nilalita sa museum office. Dahil sa binigay niyo opportunity sa akin at ito ay sasamantalahin ko na ang pagkakataon na ikwento sa inyo ang lahat ng aking nalalaman. Dati-dati uh, ang museum ay palipat-lipat ng ibang building kasi wala kaming uh, naturang uh, permanenting office o building ng museum. At ang natatandaan ko sa term ni Dr. Victor Gapod, uh, kami ay nasa third floor ng Entom Department. At doon niya pinagsama-sama ang, ang office staff at saka ang exhibit. Uh, museum office depende sa uh, director. Kung anong department, doon kami nilipat ng opisina. Katulad ng uh, kay Dr. Kalilong, second floor ng Entom, at si Dr. Dr. William Grueso uh, doon din at noong araw na yun ibang, uh, ibang pagkakataon kami napalipat sa hortorium tandang tanda ko pa uh, dahil sa half term na lumipat kami sa hortorium struggle is the real panahon yun sa hirap pag kasiyahin ang mga gamit ng museum. May piling cabinet, sliding cabinet, electric typewriter, manual office, manual typewriter, office table. Sa totoo lang, kakunti ang pondo ng museum. Uh, ang museum may compose ng 8 sections. Imagine mo kung gaano kahirap ang, at pagod ng palipat-lipat ng building. Pero, Sama-sama natin kinaya. During the term ni Dr. Grueso at Dr. Kalilong, nat natuloy rin ang, sa wakas ng renovation ng building. Uh, building ng Poreja Dorm. Uh, ito ay nasa forestry. Natuloy ang paglipat ng bagong building under kay Dr. Sumalde. Dito nagsimula ang makukulay ang buhay gumanda ang nadagdagan ng pondo, pati na rin ng exhibit, kasama ang mga museum artists. Sa panahong ito, saksi at ngiti nilita, magagamit niya ang kaalaman niya sa office work. Mula na paggawa ng butcher hanggang sa lahat ng typing jobs, uh, nagampanan niya at lahat ng taos pusong ginawa. Si Miss Borromeo, ay isang administrative assistant at ito ay naging uh, special collecting officer ng museum. Siya ang nakakaalam 
lahat ng mga income tungkol sa bisita, sa kaperahan, at ito ay nagampanan niya ng lubos pusong uh, pagtatrabaho. Kaya ako ay hanga sa kanya. Nag-uwi siya ng trabaho para magampanan niya kinabukasan ma final niya ang typing job. Palakip ng kwentong na eminence uh, nagsimula habang kung ano-ano ngayon ang meron ng museum. Sa likod nito ay may iba-ibang ugali ng tao sa pagtatrabaho. Masaya ako nakasama ko si Lita at Oni sa journey na ito. Sana ikaw ay maging masaya na nakasama kami sa karera ng buhay. Dahil sa nag-retired ka na at retired na ako, ah, hindi hindi ko malilimutan ang nasaksihan, ang dedikasyon mo sa trabaho. Kahit sinong director pa ang nag-handle sa atin, isa ang ating moto, work, work, work. Isa yan ang hinangaan, nag-motivate din sa amin sa trabaho. Kaya, ikaw, Wonder Woman, ng museum, happy retired. It's time to enjoy life to the fullest. Ako si Paeng Tanda. Thank you. Uh, ngayon po, we will hear uh, the reading of the letter of Dr. Augusto Sumalde, uh, care of Jai Boy. Yeah, boy, please uh, read the letter. Thank you. Hello, naririnig po ako? Yes, I can hear. Naririnig naman. Okay, so medyo mahaba po itong message from oh, and uh, historical from Dr. Uh, Ogiso Malde. So it was entitled, A Personal and Official Tribute for Ms. Rosalia Lita G. Borromeo with thanks to other MNH staff as well by uh, our former director, uh, Dr. Augusto C. Somalde. So first, greetings to all staff of the UPLB Museum of Natural History. I was supposed to submit a one-minute testimonial video for Lita, but with your permission, a, I prepared a written testimonial for her instead for prosperity and in preparation for my planned director's history of MNH under my term. So uh, it goes like this. MNH status in June 1995. In 1995, after assuming my post as MNH director, my two terms were from June 1995 to 2001 March. Only Lita Borromeo, which was clerk and uh, Paeng Tandang, artist illustrator, illustrator and Faustin, Fausto Vanillas, AO, were permanently assigned in the MNH building where I also stayed most of the time. The rest of the MNH regular staff were physical, physically assigned in other buildings under the direct supervision of UPLB faculty affiliate head creators of different component museums. This included Ana Cajano, Norma Orlido, Orlando Eusebio, um, Edison Cosico, Ed, Ed Eres, Lira Javier, um, and Manuel Baldobino. Uh, Ireneo June Leet, University Extension Specialist, was on leave and returned uh, around 1997. The other MNH technical staff was Marian Polido, who took over. Hello, Jeboy, nawala ka. Nagsasalita. Ano na pa? Hindi na na pa. Okay. There, uh, there were no other MNH technical staff at that time and the affiliate creators were all in their mother units. Before we started opening the MNH integrated exhibits to, gener to the general public in 1995, this MNH building was like a bodega. The physical dioramas were still without real exhibits but the tamarau and wheel skeleton shells and pickled specimens in the jars of Zoological Museum were already in existence. The second floor had nothing in terms of exhibits. The most serious problem was the lack of 
other full-time staff, especially technical staff in the MNH, to help in the following for preparation of exhibits, inviting potential visitors, technical assistance for MNH visitors in relation to the exhibit, exhibits, formalization of income generation, collection and remittance of entrance fees, uh, and conduct of scientific activities by regular MNH staff. So the next part is enti uh, entitled The Dream and Lita's Classic Moment. Uh, in our first MNH meeting where I have where I gave the support staff a view of my plans for the museum, particularly in transforming the MNH into a well patronized museum and as income generating scientific entity, Lita expressed her honest and somewhat sarcastic sentiment. Uh, quote, quote, Dr. Sumalde, you must be dreaming. End quote. Indeed I was indeed I was, but with my eyes open, dreaming awake letting the brain creativity, resourcefulness, and determination come into play in coordinating the impending activities of the MNH towards its transformation. An urgent request memo was sent to the head curators who were in charge of the MNH support staff to allow them to spend more time in MNH building during the preparations of, it, of the exhibits. Thanks primarily to Paeng, Orly, Edison, Anna, and Ed, the two di dioramas came to life and we also transformed the second floor as exhibit area. Additional exhibit materials were supplied by Dr. Sanchez, Dr. Edward, Eduardo Salcedo, Dr. Orlido, Dr. Kimio, Dr. Lani De Lara, Ms. Marita Salinas, OB Director Mundita Lim, Dr. Ernesto Militante, Prof. Albiola, and Dr. Raros, and Dr. Tomas Masano and family for the rocks. The other MNH curators and technical staff uh, Lira Javier and later Marian Puluido and uh, I'm spelling po si, si, ni Mr. June Lit uh, after 1996 as well as Ariel Larona technician forester Brian, also helped in putting up improving some exhibits at a later time. And where was Lita Boremeo at, admits all these activities early on? She was busy preparing papers and vouchers for the canvassing and purchase of materials needed in the exhibits and for other official needs for the MNH. And she, along with Paeng, cautioned me about some problems pur uh, in purchasing things for the MNH. So, mahaba pa po yung uh, history. Basahin ko na lang po yung last part. Uh, expression of gratitude. The MNH UPLB and I need to thank Lita Borromeo with utmost sincerity because her unquestionable honesty, trustworthiness, patience, industriousness, non-complaining attitude towards her work as special collecting officer without additional compensation made it possible for the income of the museum during my two terms to be completely and faithfully remitted to the UPLB cashier's office and no loss to corruption. Portions of the income enabled the, the museum to finance some of its official activities, establish better biodiversity exhibits, produce some publications, acquire some equipment, materials, and supplies, maintain the physical structure of some parts of the building, and promote the MNH as an educational scientific center of biodiversity to a significant degree. During my first term, students and faculty from at least 278 schools in Calabarzon, Metro Manila, uh, and other places, along with per their parents, numerous smaller groups and individuals from elsewhere visited the MNH once or more times. Finally, I wish to add that Lita also contributed much in accomplishing other administrative assignments such as receiving bookings for museum visits, following up budgetary requests, supporting the allocation of resources, taking charge of book sales, preparing MRs for MNH properties, monitoring expenses, among others. Because of high efficiency and trustworthiness, she was also requested to undertake some administ administrative officer's work in many occasions. Thank you very much, Lita. We are very happy and grateful for all the high quality service says you have unselfish, unselfishly rendered to the UPLB Museum of Natural History. 
in particular and to UPLB as a whole. May the next chapter of your life after retirement be more happy, meaningful, and blessed. Take care and stay safe. So this message was from and signed by uh, former MNH Director Agusto C. Sumalde. Thank you very much, Jai Boy, for reading that. Uh, I will now show the plaque, which uh, will be grant given to Atilita at the best possible time. Uh, let me read the citation. The MNH of UPLB presents the plaque of appreciation to Rosalia B. Borromeo for having served as Administrative Assistant to Special Collecting Officer and Property Custodian of the Museum of Natural History. She served the MNH under various capacities and positions during her entire professional career, spanning a total of 42 years. Signed, Juan Carlos T. Gonzalez. Uh, I just have to mention that there is no date on this uh, plaque, so uh, Orly and I will spend a little bit of, uh, to get another one produced with the proper inclusion of the date, which is supposed to say that this plaque is presented to her today, September 30, on the occasion of the 44th anniversary of MNH. Thank you, Paul. Now uh, we move on to Profer Professor Mutia Man Maria Manalo, curator for Macro Fungi, and we will hear testimonials for her also. Ito pa may karug uh, si mga nga pala napakasipag talagang dedicated siya sa sa kanya uh, sa trabaho niya sa sa mycological herbarium lagi niya akong tinecheck lagi niya ang tinecheck yung aming collection instead daw saka pagka may time din lang gustong gusto ni ma'am lagi na andon para na check nga daw uh, kaso Medyo busy rin siya dito kasi siya ang registrar. Tapos, pagka naman nag advice sa akin, talagang tutok na tutok. Dahil nun niya, sabi niya, Manny, kahit walang award, kahit walang promotion, gawin mo lang ginatrabaho. At uh, alam niya na nasa taas kahit wala kang award. Tapos, uh, sabi niya niya, uh, dapat daw, laging ayos ang aming herbarium dahil ito ang buhay ng museum sa sa mga collection dahil nasa amin ang collection na matatagal na yung mga 1880 ganyan uh, kaya dapat aalagaan ng gusto ang herbarium sabi niya kaya nga pagka hindi siya available si Sir Nelson ang aking pinupuntahan Pero mas malimit si ma'am dahil lagi siyang naandyan, dahil registrar siya. Kaya nagagawa namin ng gusto ang uh, aming trabaho. Ganun kasi pag si ma'am, talagang kahit maglakad, naglalakad yun dito para lang mag, uh, i-check or mag may mga ayos yung papeles. Sa, sa biyahe, okay din siya. Marami kaming natutunan dahil... Uh, Talagang masipag si Ma'am kahit sa bundok, akit siya. Walang ilog na tinatawid o bundok na akit. Kayang-kaya ni Ma'am. Ganun si Ma'am ka-dedicated sa trabaho, masipag, ma maasahan talaga. Kaya ni? Good morning Ma'am. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Uh, sa inyong pagiging curator ng museum. Thank you sa mga time natin, sa work natin at museum. Uh, mamimiss namin yung uh, inyong presence sa team. But nonetheless, uh, we will be just around. Uh, salamat ma'am sapagkat uh, kahit sa uh, uh, ganitong pagkakataon, we can be together Kahit na magre-retire na kayo, uh, you, you will be missed by, by the team. Salamat ma'am at uh, muli maraming uh, pang uli tayong pwedeng uh, pagsasamahan either sa, sa team or some other days sa ibang mga activities. Uh, God bless you ma'am at uh, 
uh, lagi kayong poprotektahan ng ating Panginoon. Okay, ito po ang uh, plaque of appreciation to Mutia Maria Manalo, MS. I'll just read the bottom part. For having served as curator of macrofungi, during her tenure as curator, she identified macrofungal specimens on request of other institutions and government agencies, mentored undergraduate and graduate students and the MNH staff, and added substantially to the macrofungal collections of MNH, particularly from the Mount Cleopatra's Needle critical habitat in Puerto Princesa City, Palawan, presented on 30, 20, 30 September 2020 on the occasion of the 44th anniversary of the Museum of Natural History, signed one with Carlos T. Gonzalez. Now we will move to the next for uh, Dr. Lani Dilara, curator of Molusks. Uh, good morning po. Uh, since 1986, nakasama ko na po si Ma'am Lani. Isa po siya sa magaling na faculty ng Animal Biology Division. Tatlong digada ko na rin po siyang nakasama sa zoology family. During 1990s, naging head po siya ng aming division. Medyo strict to po, pero napakabait po. Minsan, nakakasagot ako pero hindi po siya nagtatanim ng galit sa mga kasamahan niya. Minsan, hindi po niya inuungkat ang mga pagkakamali ko. Bagkos, tinuturuan po niya ako ng iba't ibang pamamaraan sa trabaho ko. Walang Pasko na hindi niya ka kinaka Kinalilimutan na aginalduhan ako. Kaya ma'am Lani, hinding hindi ko po malilimutan ang mga itinuro nyo sa akin. Kayo po ang the best teacher para sa akin. Sige po. Sige po ma'am, ingat po at enjoy your retirement. Miss you ma'am. Uh, good... Hi ma'am. Kamusta po kayo? I hope that you are healthy and safe. Now, you I know that you are enjoying your retirement uh, days right now uh, in the university as well as in the museum. Uh, Ma'am Lani, uh, she has contributed a lot in the in the field of malacology here in the Philippines, especially being teacher and a mentor to many students including myself uh, she is actually one of the major person who influenced me uh, to the person that i am right now uh, mamlani has many legacy in the field of malacology particularly in freshwater uh, mollusk and she is also uh, one of the pioneers of uh, establishing the Malacology Lab that uh, we, her students, are now uh, using right now. Uh, I hope, ma'am, that uh, even that you are retired, you are still there and helping us to improve um, the field. Maraming pong salamat. Ito po ang uh, plaque of appreciation to Dr. Ayulani Dilara for having served as curator of mollusks. During her tenure as curator, she identified mollusk specimens on request of other institutions and government agencies, mentored undergraduate and graduate students and the MNH staff, and researched the effects of heavy metals and other pollutants on freshwater snails. Dr. Dilara also presented papers on snails in at least two national scientific conferences. Or conventions presented on 30 September 2020 on the occasion of the 44th anniversary of the Museum of Natural History, signed Juan Carlos T. Gonzalez, Director. Now we will have the closing remarks from Director Gonzalez. Thank you, Dave, for, 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 the, uh, <clears throat> for the introduction. And again, thank you everyone for joining us at this, at this tribute. Um, I will read my message. Sencha po, malitusulat ko. 
Ayan, lalakihan ko lang po ang sa, ayan. So, thank you everyone for joining us on our third day uh, of this three-day um, anniversary of the Museum of Natural History, which is actually the day of our actual establishment and founding through the approval of the Board of Regents. Um, at the time, it was... Chancellor at that time, binasa ko yun lang sa, sa ano eh, nasa Gazette. Anyway, for those who can remember, it was on the Gazette of the University of the Philippines. So officially nandun tayo, kasabay actually natin ang NAS na established on the same Gazette, our same page of the Gazette. It's actually available online if you want to download that. Um, so it was again September 30. Actually, September 24 yung nakalagay. Medyo nalito kami the first time nung tinitingnan namin. Kala na, oh, 24 ang anniversary? At 24, sila meet to the Board of Regents. Tapos 30 siya na nag-meeting ang Board of Regents and approve. Which is amazing because if come to think of it, we are BOR approved, established. So we are the official museum of the University of the Philippines. It just so happened that it was established in the University of the Philippines, Los Baños, because the collections were there. And because also the professors who first organized the different collections and herbaria were from UP Los Baños. So doon established because of the collection of the... And it's amazing because it's the, I think, one of the first multi-unit or multi-college collaboration. If you think it's 1970s, Karmenga, kanya kanyang college. Eh. But this time, everybody thought, ay, magsama sama tayo together to form the museum. And it's amazing because we are cross colleges for all colleges that had natural history collections. It was too late, I think, that Med actually wanted to join then, kaso, wala pa sila noong 1976. So it's amazing also because, um, naka join in naman ng Med within our, our collective group of curators, and po sila Dr. Masangkay, sila Dr. Salcedo. So it's amazing na, even though they still had a separate one, uh, we have close connections with uh, the Anatomy Museum. Diyan po si Dr. Maala, actually, um, who has been part of uh, collaborating with us for a lot of time. And it's good na na-upgrade din yung kanilang museum. So it's amazing. If you, have, if you have time, please do read the Gazette, another download ko siya. Hanapin niyo lang po yun. It's, it's a little difficult to download. I'll try to download and then send it to you. So it's amazing history. Uh, going back to history, I think, oh my, 44 years na po tayo. Una ko po nakilala ang museum. I was on my third year or fourth year of college as a, a zoology student. And I remember si Tito Paeng at si Tita Dita nakaupo sila sa isang maliit na kwarto dun sa building ng kortoryum. Hindi ko alam kung paano nagkasya lahat ang tao ng museums. Maliit-liit na building na yun. Alam ko sila, Orly, tsaka sila Edison nandun sa baba ata. May isa pang building. No? Sorry, wala na yung building na wash out yata ng bagyo. So we'll, they we're actually trying to find funds to help rebuild that. But it's amazing because, um, yeah, I mean, remembering how the museum started. At naalala ko, nakaupo pa si Sir Grueso dun sa isang kwarto. Kasi magpapapirma ko kay Sir Grueso nun eh. Nakaupo siya dun sa kabilang kwarto. Ngayon, parang yan. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's amazing that we have this amazing building and we're having it renovated. So yes, the renovation will push through. Approved na po yung bidding natin sa PITC. We'll just have to work out when because of the inabot siya ng pandemic. So hopefully, uh, we'll have a new roof uh, over the museum kasi nga, tumutulo na siya lahat. Um, so we'll have that rebuilt courtesy, of course, of funds from the government that was facilitated through Senator Gordon. So, so, just to give off my own testimonial, uh, I remember Tita Lita, she worked, she told me that she worked with Dr. Abor uh, before, before she went to the museum. And I think it was the same building na saan siya nagtatype. So, mukhang kilala niya yung nagpaparamdam na nagtatype right there doon sa same kwarto. So, <laughs> so ayun. Uh, um, she has, I know she's done exceptional work through the years and I think it's so difficult to replace her as SEO. Kasi every day talaga ito ay uupo, magpukuha ng resibo. Actually, we tried to plan out. Sabi ko, tita, dito ba gusto mag-ticket na tayo? Kasi i-resibo mo pa isa-isa lahat ng taong papasok. 50 pesos i-resibo mo pa. So, so we had those discussions before na bakit mag-ticket na lang tayo? Mas ma but because it was official to put out the, the resibo, mas mahala tayo yung resibo kaysa sa ticket. So it was difficult to do that. I mean, doing being the one receiving the money every day for every student that comes in and 
remember busload ang dumadating. Um, I think 2016, 2017, we had the most 35,000 visitors for that year. We had more visitors than any other major museum in the Philippines, but of course, except for the National Museum, Laksile. Um, and we are the second largest in the country in terms of collections. So I think we'd be proud of that. So amazing work, everyone. Um, museum staff and curators, amazing to you that we are. Um, just I think the world should know that. And of course, with the SEO and Sipita, we actually received almost not shy of 900,000 pesos income in 2018 and 900,000 pesos in 2019. Wag natin ang 2020 kasi may pandemic. Mahila po ang income. But that was amazing. It's just really good that we have to get that done. And I would like to thank uh, Tito Paeng. It's really nice to see you're doing well. And Sir Sumalde, thank you very much. I know he wanted to do a video, but he had to so I had to send it to him the letter. But it's good. We'll put that into the history books and dami pong kwento. So again, thank you for the heartfelt testimonials. Um, Lita Lita will be retiring this November 2020. And Mamucha, ay, yan. Salamat po. Alam ko meron kayong major meeting ngayon sa Forsy. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so Mamucha po is, hindi po siya registrar, Kuya Mani. Siya po ay college sec. But she has been college sec of the College of Forestry and Natural Resources. I'm sorry, from time immemorial ata, ma'am. <laughs> For almost 13 years. My God. 13. Kasi alam ko, nagtuturo na ako. Kayo na yung, ka, nasa forestry pa kami, nasa basement. Since 2007. Yes, kayo na po yung college sec. Oh, si November. Ma'am, pa rin ang college sec. <laughs> but it's only been recent na si ma'am ay sumama po sa atin sa museum. So, and even though it was a short, I mean, hindi ma short, it was several years na. And we were thank you for your contributions. Active na active po yan si ma'am. And she will be, just connection po, she will be retiring sa April, April. 2021. <laughs> We're just joining in her now because this is a, a for the for the, uh, for the anniversary and the testimony. Yeah. So thank you din po. Thank you, Manny, and uh, for the testimonial. Yeah. <laughs> Alam ko, mahilap sa'yo magpabidyo. Yan, nagpapabidyo ba sa basa si Manny? So talagang <laughs> ano yan? Uh, tinaghandaan niya talaga. <laughs> At siya naman po ay titribute natin next year kasi siya naman na mag retire next year after Dita. Actually, si Manny po ang 43 years sa museum. Si Tita Dita po ay 42 years. So siya po ang, ang nagwagi. <laughs> uh, thank you also, Sir Nelson, for the testimonial. Si Sir Nelson po ay ato ang... ang Naku, kayo po maiiwan kasama ni Jen at saka ni Manny sa... sa ah, dyan pa naman si Sir... Uh, Japan naman po si Jen, tsaka si Manny. Kasama niyo po sa, sa Michael. Parating naman si Jessa. Ah, yes po. Tsaka pwede pa naman po ma dumalaw-dalaw kahit po retired na. Kasi mga pa naman meron pa hong six sure. months. Uh, several months pa. Uh, from Ma'am Lani. Uh, Andiyan po po si Ma'am Lani po nakikita. Ma'am Lani! So Ma'am Lani, uh, known from, of course, she be a zoo po ako. So kilala ko po si Ma'am Senzoology. Year, all my zoology years, but she was never my teacher. Hindi ko po kayo iniwasan, yun lang po ang, hindi lang nagkataon na yung kinukuha ko subject ay hindi kayo ang teacher. Nung kumuha ko ng histo, nagpunta naman si ma'am ng Cardiff. So, ayan, kaya hindi ko siya naging teacher. Kaya naging teacher ko nun ay si ma'am, oh, pangalan nung, uh, si ma'am Q, Kirubin. Yeah. Si ma'am Kirubin na may pamangke na nagmiss Binibining Pilipinas. Yun lang po naalala kay Ma'am Q. Pero kay Ma'am Lani, yeah, marami, yung, marami kaming memories niyan. Kasi active po yun si Ma'am as a curator of, uh, of, the, of the zoology uh, collection. Especially the malacology collection. And she's always been there for all the activities of the museum. And if you take note, if you go around the museum, talagang kitang-kita mo ang malacology. So it's been a major feature in, in uh, the MNH. And of course, Yung advising yung si Ryan, curator na rin siya, mag, magtutuloy ng lahat na yan. So, uh, thank you po kay Dito and the 4K, sir, Dito Dr. De Chavez for the heartwarming testimonials. So, ayan po. Uh, today is our actual um, anniversary. Um, just want to share you a memorable day for me. Siguro sa most memorable moment in the museum was, I think, 1995. 
when I first joined the museum as associate curator, um, I realized ko po reading through uh, the establishment letter, talaga pong meron tayong associate curator. So I think we can go back and re review all the company established and how can we we can better use of that positions for curator and associate curator. Kasi nakalagay po doon nung binasa ko, isa lang po dapat ang curator per collection and then a series of associate curators. So I think we need to revisit that and then for either me or the next director pwede niyo po establish. And ano lang natin how the um, distribution of work would be and also yung units para mas magamit nyo. I think we need to establish not just adding it to your regular load, but actually teaching it to your full load. Kung talagang kailangan. So let's review po that. So again, I'm, my memorable moment would be presenting my watercolor painting of a red jungle fowl to Prince Akishino, who visited the museum. He was also an ornithologist and also an Oxford graduate. And kasama ko po nun si, si the late uh, Professor of Viola, si Sir Ogi, at saka si Chancellor Bidderiel. So yun po yung pinaka anong moment ko kasi nagulat po sila na may dala akong painting. And, hindi nila alam na may naibibigit. Nagpasabong pa kami sa harap ng museum. So, I am delighted to have had the opportunity to lead the helm of the museum for two terms. Salamat po sa lahat. Di ako nagpapaalam. Meron pa ako six months. Ah, five months pala. Five months. Um, but this would be my last anniversary as your director. So, thank you everyone for your participation. Congratulations to the steering committee. And of course, to the tireless work of all the Museum of National History staff and curators. Ang staff po ay nagmadali kasi kailan na tayo nagplano nito? Three weeks ago. <laughs> Dali, ay, malapit na pala ang anniversary. Nagkakalimutan na tayo. So yes, it only took us three weeks to put pull this out. Um, of the hat, ika nga. So thank you everyone for the tireless work. Um, of course, thank you to oral speakers. Amazing po. Uh, nagulat ako pa damihan ng participants. Ha? Ang galing po nung ano, uh, panado po si... Naku, sino nga ba nag-100 floor? Nalilito ako si, si Philip ba o si Ma'am Judeng? Unggoy ba o paniki ang nagwagi sa padamihan ng participants? Unggoy, sir. Unggoy, yes! <laughs> Sabi na eh. Tinitila ko parang 98 yung kay Philip tapos nag-100 plus si Ma'am. Si marami, po, marami pong foreigners na pala si Ma'am. Oo! May nag-participate for Pang India, si Vinod. So yan. Congratulations, Ma'am Jude. Di ba talaga ang show? Di pa pwede na pang showbiz. Also, thank you for the moderators. And of course, the volunteers have helped us through that. Uh, our, for our first day and our second day. Our sincere thanks for all who greeted us with our videos. Heartfelt po yung ganda po ng ginawang video monta. Actually, marami pong gusto mabol. So I think meron pa kong idadagdag na greetings for today kasi hindi po sila nakahabol ng first day. Um, so again, our sincere thanks for all who sent their uh, video greetings and their online greetings as well for those na nag-post po dun sa ating uh, social media platforms. Talamat po sa inyong anniversary greetings and with that again congratulations everyone thank you for today and uh, happy 44 years we have six more years to our golden anniversary and hope you're all still here for that so maraming salamat po one two three one more smile okay thank you very much Again, thank you very much for attending and for your forbearance. Uh, happy Alamat anniversary. Thank you very much for the tribute to me. Okay. Thank you. Dapat din, bubukas na tayo ng malamig na bote, pero wala eh. Kasalanan ni COVID. <laughs> Sir thank Jake, you again. Thank happy you. anniversary thank to everybody. Happy anniversary. Bye-bye. Well appreciated. <laughs>